What is going on guys? This is Saddam Hassan with AMZ One Step. Today we're going to show you guys our brand new keyword research tool called AMZ WordSpy. All right. Before we get into that, I'd like to share three different objectives that a keyword research tool has. Number one, listing optimization. If your listing is keyword dense, it will rank on Amazon's A9 algorithm. All right. So that means putting in your keywords in your title, back in keywords, your product features and the product description. You can use our tool to do that and get all the effective keywords. Number two, PPC campaigns. It is very effective for pay-per-click ad campaigns to generate these keywords. There's two different ways you can go about it. Number one, you can either uh, create automatic campaigns, let them run for two weeks, and then uh, export those keywords into your manual campaign. The one downside to that is you end up paying a lot of money for those automatic campaigns. Uh, what you can do instead is use our tool or another keyword research tool and get those keywords that are relevant to your product and plug it into your manual campaign. Number three, uh, product research. So this is something not a lot of Amazon sellers are using. And uh, once we're demoing the tool, we're gonna show you exactly how you can use our tool to stumble upon profitable products. Okay, it looks like very user-friendly, very simplified, there's not a lot going on. All you have to do is just search your keywords here and it will give you the search. So let's search for a keyword here. Um, let's go with yoga mats. That's always seems to be a winner. So as you can see, there are four market marketplaces available to you, the US, UK, Canada, and India. Uh, unlike other uh, keyword research tools, we do not charge a premium for tapping into these other markets. And in the next three, four months, we plan to add other marketplaces like Japan, Germany, Italy, and maybe other European regions. And that would be at the same cost to you. All right. So the second thing that I want to highlight is probably the most crucial to our tool, and that is it extracts data directly from Amazon. I cannot stress on this anymore uh, than this. A lot of people have been asking us for proof and we said we we're going to do a demo video and this is exactly where we show you guys. So yoga mats in the US, you see these searches. Um, now I'm going to go to amazon.com here and I'll search for yoga mats. Okay, so if we look at the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, um, it's a little hard to memorize, but we have to do that. So extra thick non-slip for kids, for women, bulk wholesale pack, non-slip. All right, so we look at that again, extra thick non-slip uh, for kids, for women, bulk wholesale pack, non-slip. So what that's telling me is that it is getting the exact keywords that are being searched the most on Amazon. Uh, the good thing about it is Amazon is only giving you the top nine results, whereas this is extracting from the back end of a Amazon's A9 algorithm, all the keywords that are searched in a priority sequence. So the more trendier the keyword, the higher it's going to land on our search results. And to show you guys how it works in different marketplaces. Let's look at .ca, for example. So I'm gonna go to amazon.ca here. All right. So in .ca, as you can see, the top results that are a bit different than what we see on the US. So number second is thick yoga mats. Third is Gaim yoga mats, not sure if that's a, um, if that's a brand or if that's a type of yoga mat, and then it's 6mm on sale for kids, it has to be in the same sequence if it is pulling directly from Amazon. And let's check that out. So yoga mats, thick yoga mats, Gaim yoga mats, 6mm on sale for kids, for women, and the list continues in the same priority sequence. And as you go down the list, it is pulling exactly from the back end of Amazon and giving it to you in that same sequence. All right, so next one that I'm gonna show you guys is a really good feature. So 
you see all these keywords um, in the US and there's a feature in our keyword research tool that is a bit different and you won't find this in any other tool. It is the optimized feature. So as you know, if you're selling on Amazon, you need to put 250 bytes worth of backend keywords in your product listing. Again, this might vary depending on which category your product is in, but usually the norm is 250 bytes. What our tool does is it amalgamates all the relevant keywords and puts it in the format for you so that you can plug it in directly in the backend keyword search term uh, format. So you, all you have to do is press optimize and save that. And then when you generate it, it gives you that whole list. All right, so you can just copy the list and plug it into your search term field. All right, the next one is something very interesting. It is, it also gives you searches in other languages. Um, this might seem like an obvious feature in a lot of the keyword research tools, but um, I can assure you a lot of them do not have this. So let's search for dog in French. So Chien, um, because French is more dominant in Canada, we'll go to the States one. And as you can see, it gives you all the keywords that are related to dogs in French. And we'll, we can even demo that. We have Amazon.ca open. If we search for Chien, it gives you all those. I'm not going to pronounce that because I do not know French. <laughs> but anyone who speaks French or is targeting the uh, French demographic can definitely use this keyword research results and uh, put that in the listing to come up with product features and the title itself. All right, so the next one that I'm gonna talk about is product research. Now guys, this is a big one. Uh, like I said before, not a lot of people are using this. There is so much potential in this. You guys can find so many effective products using this strategy, okay? so. We'll go to .com again, just because a lot of people, uh, a lot of the community uses .com uh, to sell. And let's search for some word, like, uh, I don't know, maybe something in the kitchen. Let's say like, a, let's say I search for a tray. All right, so we're gonna flip back to US just because we're on .com. So these are all the keywords that our tool gives you in, in relation to trays. Now, obviously you have to go through them and see if, if there's any potential ones that you find. I always like going towards the, the end because that is where a lot of the niches are found. All right, so going through this one and access, try to stay away from wallet, but here's one, travel table for a car. All right, so I'm gonna copy that, paste it here, travel table for cars. So there's a thousand results. And this seems like a kid's product. All right, so something that they can use in the car and basically gives them, keeps them busy. Um, looks like a really good product for new uh, parents or for uh, toddlers um, that are in a car seat. All right, so we're going to run the Jungle Scout on this. And as you can see, um, there's quite a bit revenue potential here. All right, so if I filter revenue here, oh, that's pretty nice. Okay. So there's not a lot of Amazon's not an active seller here. Re Average reviews, 106, that's not bad at all. Guys, 45, 48, you see them uh, doing $11,000, $7,000 in sales. Uh, again, this is not a product research video, so I'm not gonna go into details, but I mean, from the looks of it, uh, this might be a winner product. So someone who wants to add in a product into their product mix that where they can 
uh, hit between five to ten thousand dollars in revenue this is a good product all right and all of that what all i had to do was just search tray in the search term so let's do another one let's let's just go with yoga mats again um i'm feeling like yoga mats is the winner for today all right so there's uh there's not a lot of uh, searches and i'm going to talk about the limited searches as well uh, i'll talk about it towards the end of the video but um let's see extra thick non slip with bag for kids bundle all right so it looks like kids are getting into yoga these days as well so if i copy and paste that oops i think it didn't copy so copy and paste yoga mask for kids bundle only 93 searches so this might not be a very profitable product but let's just run jungle scout on this and see what it gives us all right sports and outdoors yeah so i mean as you guys can see uh, there's not a lot of well okay there's one brand uh, making fifteen thousand dollars a month in revenue yeah this is expensive as well fifty six dollars so i do not advise this product please do not go for it um but i mean who knows this is this is just basically ideas being thrown uh, at us right so you search a keyword and you go scroll down to the bottom and see if there's any potential we'll just do one more so something that is maybe up and coming um well christmas is coming up so just a disclaimer anything related to christmas is going to be strictly seasonal uh so if you guys do search for uh, keywords like that always be cautious not to go for ones that might be out of season and only doing sales in in the two one or two months that they're in season for. All right, so cards, no stockings. Seems a bit competitive. Uh, Christmas tea color, I don't even know what that is. But let's look at that. Christmas tree color. All right, so looks like a nice product. Yeah. Maybe I'll use it for my tree this year. Uh, let's see how the Jungle Scout numbers are. This might actually be a good product. Um, okay. As this loads up, I see some potential here. Uh, some revenues. Average reviews, only 39. Guys, this might be a good product. So except for the top seller uh, you see all the other ones 31,000 18,000 all of these guys with only two or three reviews so i mean this is something you guys can definitely go into um again this is more for in terms of showing you guys how the keyword research tool can be leveraged to find products i'm not going to dive deeper into this and see whether we can differentiate it or what other competitors are selling. So I'm just looking at it from a gross potential point of view. It has potential, the reviews are down, the sales are up, and uh, all we had to do was just search Christmas and scroll down to the bottom to find and stumble upon a niche. So definitely something you can do and just replicate the process. I mean, the possibilities are pretty much endless. All right, so one other thing that I, I would like to show you guys since I have this open is the CSV file. Um, you guys might be well versed with this. It is basically an Excel version of all the keywords. If you're building up uh, a master list, you can use that, search for two or three different searches and then put it all in an Excel file and it formats it for you. All right, so that's one feature now there's two different um, things that uh, s we've tested out the product and i see potential questions regarding that so the 
First one is the search volume bars that you see on the right. Now we've kept it very simple. Um, most of the keyword research tools do give search volumes and they're all estimates. There is no place where Amazon will give you those keyword uh, search volumes. So again, they're either running off of an algorithm or they're stored in an external database, all right? So what we've done is we've only kept it to a search bar of five bars, which ranks it in terms of the search frequency. So the more people search for a specific keyword, the higher the bars. Okay, so on the right side, you see there's five bars up till 18, and then number 19 is decorations, clearance, outdoors. It moves to four bars. So the first 18 are highly searched terms, and then after that, it's one step lower. So that's how it's sequenced. It's sequenced based on the search frequency. Um, the second one that I'd like to show you guys is, again, the, the one that we uh, witnessed earlier. So if I go back to yoga, I, sorry guys, I keep going back to yoga mats. It's, trust me, I'm not, I'm not getting any money from this. <laughs> it's just one of those days, I'm feeling yoga mats. So yoga mats, we see 36 searches. Now, a lot of people would come up to us and say, hey guys, we've been using this other tool and it gives us 2,000 keywords. Why is yours only giving 36 keywords? There's a reason for that. So we are only giving you quality and the most relevant keywords. That is number one. And this, the other aspect of it is the broader the keywords are, the more long tail the keywords are, the narrower the searches would be, okay? So it's based on Amazon's algorithm. If people are searching for those long tail keywords, you'll see those results. But chances are not a lot of people are searching for long tail keywords that are specific, that have five to six keywords in them. Looks like I'm running low on battery. Um, but I'll just quickly finish this. and. Um, yeah, basically, it's uh, the broader the keywords, the less the results. Anything outside of that is other tools giving you trends from different marketplaces. It's not based on Amazon. I know other tools are either getting their data from Google Trends or some other APIs, and they would not be relevant to Amazon. So if you'd like the keywords that are the most relevant and that you want to put in your listings, or in your PPC ad campaigns, trust me guys, these 36 to 40 keywords that we're giving you are the most relevant and they can all be used to optimize your listings and your PPC campaigns, all right? So that was it for our demo today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was more informative. If you have any questions or any uh, suggestions you'd like to make, please uh, comment below and give us your feedback. Until next time, I'm out.